with our invitation from Police Chaplain Chuck Spencer. Being the Police Chaplain, it's a great honor for me to be able to serve everybody. Um, and that goes a long ways. Uh, and faith has nothing to do with it. So if you would stand with me, please. We ask uh, that you pray along with me. And uh, please accept the sincerity of my prayer when I uh, pray from my Christian perspective. So let's pray. Father, we thank you, Lord, that uh, we can humbly come before your throne. And as children, Lord, ask things of the Father. And we ask you, Lord, today to bless this time together this year. We give thanks, Lord, that you are all-knowing and that, God, you have us in mind. We ask your blessings on each and every one of these volunteers, God, that have given it their time. And we ask your special blessing upon them. Bless our leadership, Lord, of this city for providing, and God, for the leadership in, uh, in the police department for allowing us, God, to have the volunteer program. We ask your blessings on everything that we do and say here today. And we ask this in your son's holy name, Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. Please remain standing. We'll now have the uh, posting of colors and then the Pledge of Allegiance. Forward.
turned on me watching me do this. Uh, well, this is, a, this is a nice event to come to. This is one of those things every year that I look forward to, to uh, come and see uh, the wonderful volunteers on Rebecca Hill, uh, police volunteers who just did a great job throughout the year. I'm amazed at the number of hours that you all have donated this year. It's been amazing for the city of Nashville. And it's not just uh, hours either. It's really productive work. And so uh, we just couldn't do it out I can't thank you enough for that. I know it's a tough thing to get into. One of the people who uh, had volunteered to join you all, you put me down as a recommendation. I always recommend to people they don't do that because uh, sometimes it's hurts you more than helps you. <laughs> but he did, and I'm tell you, I got a phone call that lasted two hours. Uh, maybe because I had to recommend my own. In any case, uh, it's very selective, and you can be proud of uh, what you do. I think it's, in my view, and I've been around for a lot of years now, my, in different jobs in the military and in uh, the city of Akra, but I can't think of any organization that does uh, more volunteer work and more productive work than you do, and I think you'll be committed. It's why I invited, actually, Dennis from the Grand Jury to come here. We talked uh, one day when we were down at the Grand Jury. And I said, you got to see what we do in the city of Vacaville, and maybe you can spread the word to other cities that this is a good thing to do. So uh, I don't want to talk for a long time, but I just want to thank uh, the chief for inviting us back to assist him in providing these awards and the number of hours that you put in. God bless you all. You do a great job. Keep up the great work. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, I, I too can't say enough about our volunteer program, but the uh, the person that runs the volunteer program, who does the recruitment, um, she just maintains order, structure, discipline within her core of people. Is Suzanne Johnson, the uh, the leader of our volunteer core? I'd like to have Suzanne come up. She's going to uh, walk us through uh, the introduction and talk about the events for this afternoon.
Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like you all to join me in welcoming Phoenix Rising Irish Dancers. Thank you, Susanna. Thank you again to the dancers. That was very good. I'm going to ask um, the mayor and, and Don and Erica and Kathy would come up for the presentation of awards. I think we're just standing in some order. Feel free to come. Good afternoon. Welcome to the Volunteers and Police Service, also known as VIP's Annual Appreciation and Awards Luncheon, where we are honoring our awesome volunteers who served over 20,000 hours in 2009. I'm your MC, Melanie Ariano. And I'm your MC, Jeannie Whitehouse. Uh, volunteers, as we read your name, please come forward where our Chief of Police will greet you first, followed by other distinguished guests. Accompanying our police chief, Richard Word, and Mayor Lynn Augustine in, rece in the receiving line are City Manager Flora Kuhn, Senator Lois Walk's Senior Field Representative Don Labar, Congressman George Miller's Field Representative Kathy Hoffman, Assembly Member Marigo Yamada's Field Representative Erica Rodriguez, Administrative Services Commander Lieutenant Ed Goldberg, and Police Special Services Supervisor Suzanne Johnson. Volunteers who served over 300 hours will receive certificates from Senator Wolf, Congressman Miller, and Assemblymember Yamada's office. Volunteers, as you come forward, no pushing and shoving as every one of you will receive a beautiful blue portfolio with a police logo that reads Volunteer and Police Service of Vacaville, California. Volunteers who have completed their first 200 hours will receive a name badge with an hours bar. Those who have already received a name badge will receive an accumulated hours bar to place on their name badge. 
Chief Word would like to give special honor to volunteers who have served the department over 500 hours. These volunteers will receive a backable police star pin from Lieutenant Ed Goldberg. Okay, Jeannie, let's begin. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jose Garcia. Works, uh, he works with Administrative Services, the VIP's Patrol, uh, Ray Benjamin, and, and Parking Enforcement. He's accumulated over 107 hours starting back in 2008. Thank you for your service. Carolyn Berg has worked with Administrative Services, the volunteer section with Suzanne Johnson. She also is the hearing examiner and sits on interview panels. She started as a volunteer in January of 1994 and has accumulated 606 hours. Thanks, Carolyn. Karen Couture. She's assigned to uh, the Graffiti and Bike Path Patrol and the Animal Human Ser Humane Animal Services, and she's acquired over f 51 hours. Wow! Thank you, Sandra Evans. Sandra is assigned to Graffiti Task Force and Bike Path Patrol. She is a new volunteer and attended the Volunteer Academy in 2009. She has accumulated 56 hours. Rosa Tejero is a patrol assistant who serves Officer Lucy Makamoto, and she's accumulated over 283 hours since uh, beginning with us in 2007. Mark Fuller, Jr. has worked administrative service and VIP's patrol with Ray Benjamin. He is also a new volunteer who attended the uh, academy in 2009, and he has done 63 hours. Pardon? No, Mark Fuller. Carol Webster works with Administrative Services and Records, um, helping out uh, my supervisor, Bet Burnham. Uh, she's accumulated over 64 hours, and she just attended our academy in 2009. Ernest Hay. Ernest works with Administrative Services. Oh, Ernest is not here. Sorry. Alvin Zayas. Oh, no, go ahead. It's okay. Alvin Zayas, his works with VIP's patrol and also the Graffiti Task Force. He is also a new volunteer and did the Academy in September of 2009, and he's accumulated 75 hours. <laughs> Dorothy Aschenbrenner uh, served with the our patrol unit um, with the VIPs patrol and uh, also as a patrol assistant. She's already accumulated over 70 hours and she just went through the academy last year. <laughs> Ralph Wilcox helps out in crime prevention. He assists with public events and keeping our brochures in stock. Just hold on a second. Wait to hear how many hours he's put in. <laughs> 1,768 hours. That, that's, just, that's just since 2001. That is amazing. <laughs> Marion Elkins. Marion Elkins works the Park Watch and Bike Path Patrol. She began as a volunteer in December of 2002 and has accumulated 424 hours. Raylene Dewey. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Raylene was responsible for our database population for our investigations uh, services section and also worked with the TV advertisement creation for crime prevention. She's accumulated over 620 hours since starting with us in 2007. In February 2009, Raylene was hired as a part-time employee and in March of this year returned to her volunteer status. Thank you, Raylene. 
George Atondo. George works with Park Watch, Bike Path Patrol, Vehicle Calibrations, and other special projects. He began as a volunteer in December of 2002, has done 91 hours in 2009, and has accumulated 492 hours. Matthew Pryor. Matthew is an assistant lead and trainer for the Graffiti Task Force. He's accumulated over 93 hours of service. He just started last year, so thank you very much. Carol Wilcox. Carol mans the boots at the public events and serves as a computer aide. She began as a volunteer in May of 2001 and has accumulated 95 hours in 2009. I wanted to say that Carol also designed and keeps updated the volunteer memory book that is available. Her total hours accumulated since 2001 is 1,319. Sandra Meggers. Sandra helps with administrative services and also with the Senior Wellness and Vacation Check Program and assists Jackie Graves. Thank you for coming, Sandra. <laughs> <laughs> Volunteers from this point forward have qualified and will receive the Bronze, Bronze Presidential Award for hours served in 2009. Nathel Ramirez with the VIPS Patrol and Code Enforcement has accumulated over 402 hours since 2007. Lawrence DeHart. Lawrence acts as patrol assistant and does live scans. He is new to the volunteer program and attended the academy in September. He has accumulated hours of 105 just since September. Dolores Woods. Dolores works with the VIPs patrol and she's helped with an, uh, Humane Animal Services accumulating over 120 hours, and she is also one of our new Academy graduates. Elizabeth Mercado. Elizabeth um, acts as the patrol assistant. She works in field services with Lucy Makamoto. She is also a new Academy member. Uh, she is, has volunteered since September of 2009 and has accumulated 121 hours. Jeffrey Johnson. Jeffrey is a, works in the volunteer section office and is of an event of specialists. He has began volunteering in October of 2000 and has done 130 hours in 2009. His total hours accumulated is 513. And special note on Jeffrey Johnson, he actually helped us do a lot of this stuff for today, so thanks Jeffrey. Um, also, we have Marion Ware, who worked uh, with budget management, assisting Susan Santos, and she tracks the volunteer timesheets in Excel program. She's accumulated over 700 hours, and she started in 2006. Shirley Lawson. Shirley works with senior wellness and vacation checks. She began as a volunteer in February of 2004. She accumulated 143 hours in 2009, and her total hours accumulated is 775 hours. <laughs> Ringo West. Ringo assists in administrative services and also with our senior wellness and vacation check program. She's donated over 625 hours to the city and she started just back in 2005. Joni Schutz. Joni works with admin services, VIPs patrol, and works with graffiti also. Her total hours accumulated is 238. She began volunteering over in September 2008, and her total hours for 2009 is 152.
Renee Young. Renee assisted in the records unit at the police department. Her total accumulated hours is 213. She donated 153 hours just last year. <laughs> Margaret Rourke. Margaret assists with our live scan fingerprinting. Uh, she also helps with street closures and the ride along program and is one of our new Academy graduates and she's already given 161 hours of her time. Kathleen Wallach. Kathleen works with Administrative Services, Senior Wellness and Vacation Check. She began volunteering in June of 2000. In 2009, she accumulated 169 hours. Total hours accumulated is 1,702 hours. David Kellis Sr. David Kellis Sr. Gave, uh, works with the Administrative Services, the VIP's Patrol Program, Parking Enforcement, and also Code of Compliance. He's given 491 hours, 170 uh, of which are, were just last year. Janice Dimitri. Janice works with investigation and crime prevention. She has been a volunteer since June of 2002. In 2009, she is given 175 hours and her total hours accumulated is 1,407. Janice also helps with victim notifications. Wilia Fulton. Wilia assists with administrative services, the VIP's patrol, uh, specifically helping out Ray Benjamin. She's accumulated over 823 hours, 175 of which were just last year. Sherilyn Alamo. Sherilyn works with VIP's patrol, co-lead on the graffiti task force, and also does live scans and parking enforcement and code. She is new to the volunteer program. She attended the academy in 2009 and has done 179 hours since 2009. Total hours accumulated is 179 hours. Ralph Petty. I, I feel like we need a drum roll for this yeah. one. He has given 183 hours. He's only done this for three months. He's assisting with the VIP's program, parking enforcement, and code compliance. Anita Pretty. Anita had, works with Senior Wellness and Vacation Checks. She began volunteering in January of 1998. 2009, she graced us with 188 hours. Her total hours accumulated is 1,952. The following volunteers served over 200 hours in the 2009 calendar year. They will be receiving a black and khaki carrying bag with the police logo. Diane Stadler. Diane, Diane works with the records department and does tours. She began volunteering in March of 2005. 2009, she completed 209 hours, with total hours accumulated of 1,380. <laughs> Wilma Zuniga. Wilma works with Admin Services, Senior Wellness and Vacation Check. Wilma is very helpful with special projects. She began volunteering in March of 2007. In 2009, hours completed were 225. Total hours accumulated is 462 hours. <laughs> Gerilyn McCord. Gerilyn works with Senior Wellness and the First Unit. She also does vacation checks. Gerilyn began volunteering in September of 2008. She has worked 231 hours in 2009 with total hours accumulated of 321 hours. Kevin Abbas. 
Kevin's a patrol assistant who's accumulated over 360 hours, 233 of which were just last year. Um, there's a special note here about Kevin. Uh, he also just graduated from the Sacramento Police Academy this year. Bruce DeClaire. Bruce is a patrol assistant and works with VIP's patrol where he worked with parking enforcement and code. Bruce is a volunteer and he attended the academy in 2009. He accumulated 234 hours in 2009 total. The following individuals completed over 250 hours in 2009 and will receive the Silver Presidential Award pin. Rosemary Jackson. Rosemary works for FIRST, does senior wellness and vacation checks. She began volunteering in September of 2008. 2009, she worked 289 hours, and her total hours accumulated is 408 hours. Lawrence Davis, Jr. Lawrence works with the VIPS Patrol, Parking Enforcement and Code Compliance, and he gave over 300 hours just last year. So thank you very much. Robert Fulton. Robert works with VIP's Patrol, Parking Enforcement and Code Compliance. He started volunteering in March of 2007. 2009, he completed 322 hours, and his total hours accumulated is 1,037 hours. Jackie Martinson. Jackie does data entry for crime analysis and also works with the first unit. Her total hours accumulated are 900, but she gave over 323 hours last year. William Franklin McClelland. William works with Park Watch and PD Admin. He's been volunteering since July of 2003. In 2009, he completed 337 hours with total hours accumulated of 3,934 hours. Way to go, William. <laughs> Kenneth Gallagher. Kenneth works with the VIP's patrol. He's also worked with parking enforcement and code compliance. His total hours accumulated are 741 but he gave 346 hours last year. <laughs> Johanna Hoagland. Johanna works on, with the Records Department and is the Volunteer Office Oral Boards. Johanna's been volunteering since June of 2002. She completed 384 hours in 2009 and her total hours accumulated is 3,331 hours. Johanna, you need to get alive. <laughs> Jackie Graves. Jackie works with the Senior Wellness and Vacation Check Program. She's also the team coordinator. The team served over 1,900 hours this year and helped in reporting several elder abuse incidents in the city. Thank you, Jackie. Larry Hall. Larry works with Administrative Services, Property, and Evidence. He began volunteering in September of 2004. 2009, he completed 469 hours. Total hours accumulated is 3,000. Um, there is also a special note here. Larry, in his work in property and evidence, he has purged unneeded evidence for cases that are ed educated in the items that remain unclaimed or must be scheduled for destruction. He assists with the destruction and use of computerized data systems to complete assigned tasks that require a solid understanding of the evidence management process. 
Larry also works hard to ensure every piece of evidence is in its proper place. Very good work, Larry. Joe Fodi. Joe's one of our um, new Academy graduates. He works as a court liaison for uh, help assisting our community service officer, Tanya Burroughs. I gotta tell you though, he works in my unit. Um, sometimes I work in the records unit and he has taken on the most daunting task of organizing tickets and stuff. He's just indispensable. Thank you so much, Joe. He gave over 481 hours and he just started this year. The following individuals completed over 500 hours in 2009 and will receive the Gold Presidential Award pin. Sally Rowdy. Yes. Sally works with our first unit. She has given 699 total accumulated hours, but she's gave, given 523 of those hours just last year. Virginia McCarty. Virginia works, well, let's see here. There's a special note here. Let me read this for you first. We would like to say a big thank you to Virginia McCarty for overseeing the street closure and ride-along program for over the past few years. She has trained up a successor to take over both programs and continues to oversee the time-consuming VSERT program. Virginia facilitates two five-week courses each year. She is a liaison between police, fire, and the public taking care of details such as applications, ID badges, handbook production, and much, much more. Uh, Virginia began volunteering in March of 2005. 2009, she contributed 564 hours. Total hours accumulated is 3,018 hours. Thank you so much, Virginia. <laughs> Raymond Benjamin. Ray works with our VIPs patrol, and he's also the team coordinator at, with, with the radio citation and code trainer and certification programs. He's accumulated over 3,257 hours since he started in 2001, but he gave 587 hours of his own time to the city last year. Thank you, Ray. Layla Watkins. Layla works with Senior Wellness and Records. Layla served over 600 hours and she will be receiving a very special gift card from Costco. She began volunteering in March of 2005. In 2009, she gave an amazing 664 hours. Total hours accumulated 3,015 hours. Thank you so much, Layla. Hey, Lula, you need, you need to use that Costco card to buy more chocolate. She supplies the police department with chocolate, I'm telling you. Oh, then she needs to come to the first office, too. <laughs> Renee Hensley. Renee is a patrol assistant and has been a tremendous help as a lead patrol assistant. She's accumulated over 1,085 hours, and she gave over 817 of those hours last year. Yeah, she's going to receive a special gift card from Quinn's Uniforms. And we'd also like to express our condolences as Renee's mother, Mary, passed away on March 6th, just a week and a half ago. But she's still been working and volunteering through, through all of this. So thank you, Renee. Oh, it's going to be a pleasure to read this one. Gus Alivras and Shirley Titler our next two volunteers, broke all records this year and served just a few hours short of 3,000 hours in 2009. Now those two people need to get a lot of <laughs> They work in multiple areas that include putting the radar trailer out early in the morning, taking county and court documents to Fairfield each day, patrolling bike paths and parks, directing traffic around block streets, and when they want to get out of the weather, there is plenty to do for records, such as filing and tabbing case folders, night or day, and for any need, they are there. <laughs> as a team, they were awarded the 2008 Volunteers of the Year. 
This year, they are receiving the Presidential Lifetime Award for serving over 4,000 hours in volunteer service. <laughs> Guests and Shirley will also be receiving gift certificates to Quinn's uniforms. Gus, um, he works the park watch. He acts as a mail carrier. Does the ADD run, as I said. Um, he began in March 2007, and his total accumulated hours is 6,584. Shirley Teitler works with the Park Watch, the Bike Path. Uh, she works as a mail courier. She also assists with the district attorney packet, where she takes down for the records unit uh, every morning with Gus. And they are absolutely not only a joy to be around, um, they're funny and dedicated to the city. They go do senior wellness checks. They go to the senior center every morning. They have accumulated, she's also accumulated the same as Gus because they're like pretty much stuck together like glue, um, but 6,584 hours. Um, just last year though, she gave over two, well, 2,960 hours. Just last year. That's, that's just incredible. Thank you, Shirley. Will the following individuals please come forward and form a line facing the audience in front of our reception line? Volunteer of the first quarter, Renee Hensley. Volunteer of the second quarter, Sally Rowdy. Volunteer of the third quarter, Jackie Graves. Volunteer of the fourth quarter, Ray Benjamin. Renee Hensley, please step forward. Renee has been extremely helpful to patrol and is a very quick learner. She has learned how to properly log and book evidence, assist in report writing via AFR, which is it's a computer program, download photos and voice recorders onto a CD for evidence, take photographs of evidence, complete CHP 180 forms, make report copies for court, and complete traffic citations. She is thorough when researching information for wanted subjects and quickly makes flyers. She is very helpful and always ready to assist, even when she is not scheduled to work. She volunteered to take on the role of mentoring and training other patrol assi assistant team members, and she helped with the development of the patrol assistant team procedure manual. Renee also saw a need in the women's locker room in which she thought a shelf and mirror would be helpful near the showers. She did all the prep work and made it happen. Officer Lopez said that it is refreshing to work with someone who is so eager and efficient. Many officers have expressed how helpful and dependable Renee has been. Warm congratulations and sincere thanks are extended to Renee Hensley as volunteer of the quarter, first quarter 2009. You may step back. It's a great pleasure to read this. Sally Rowdy, please step forward. Sally's mine. <laughs> I wrote this. <laughs> Sally Rowdy is a jack of all trades and is willing to do anything and everything at the Family Investigative Response Services team office. Her duties include data entry, downloading bulletins from critical reach, customer service, and special projects which require administrative support. Sally works diligently and efficiently, often coming in extra hours or days to help out with special projects. At first, many clients come for help on their worst days. Sally never fails to show them the respect that all members of the community deserve. We enjoy hearing her cheery voice and seeing her smiling face three days a week. She has volunteered an average of 48 hours each month. Projects this year included data entry of over 800 surveys of which she took home and entered via internet to meet deadlines. Another challenge she tackled this year was a backlog of intake forms from January to March of 2009 that needed to be entered before the end of April, which was less than three weeks at that time. Sally diligently entered approximately 60% of the total intake forms, making the data available for statistical projects. 
Due to budget cuts, the Family Resource Center's hours were significantly reduced and our administrative clerk's hours were cut. Sally quickly stepped in and prevented the data entry from falling behind. In addition to all her other duties, Sally helped purge older client files and is cu currently updating the FERS and FRC refer referral packet. Sally has proved to be invaluable in keeping FERS and FRC running smoothly during challenging times. Warm congratulations and sincere thanks are extended to Sally Rowdy as Volunteer of the Quarter, Second Quarter, 2009. Sally, thank you. Jackie Graves, please step forward. <laughs> you are, you just didn't know it. Jackie Graves is an outstanding volunteer who has served on the Senior Wellness and Vacation Check team since 2005. She was selected by her peers to be the team coordinator in 2007. Jackie oversees the Leisure Town substation and is the liaison between her team of 12 volunteers and the VIP supervisor, along with monthly duties to keep the team running smooth, which duties to include setting up client log sheets and tracking client concerns. She goes the extra mile to help clients. Often on her own, she takes clients to medical appointments picks up prescriptions and other errands the client cannot do because of lack of transportation or immobility. One client did not have any living relatives and Jackie intimately worked with Adult Protective Services, the apartment manager and the Vacaville Police Department's Family Investigative Response Services team, which we've referred to earlier as FIRST, while the client transferred into full-time care. On a lighter note, Jackie is often seen around town in a McGruff suit entertaining children for crime prevention. Woof. Jackie puts her heart and soul into serving the community and her team and is well deserving of the volunteer of the third quarter, 2009. Warm congratulations and sincere thanks are extended to Jackie Graves as the volunteer of the quarter, third quarter, 2009. You may step back. Thank you. Ray Benjamin, please step forward. Ray Benjamin joined the VIP's patrol in 2001, where he has served over 3,250 volunteer hours. In 2006, the team nominated Ray as their leader, where he has provided excellent leadership and hours on end training, as all volunteers are required to go through. Ray's certification to use the police radios or writing parking citations. Since his oversight, since his oversight began, the quality and reputation of the entire team has risen. In addition to Ray's excellent leadership, he established an unattached vehicle tracking system that ensures citizens are fairly warned and educated, which provides good customer service and gives the public fair warning and opportunity to not be cited. In 2003, Ray was the first VIPs to be assigned to help code compliance. Since then, he has assisted the code compliance technicians by working vehicle and property cases throughout the entire city. Gradually, Ray helped train 13 additional volunteers and they now assist with an average of 200 cases per month. During the fourth quarter of 2009, Ray expanded his normal two days a week service into four and sometimes five days a week to train and serve the new VIPs Academy graduates. His dedication and excellence produced eight additional volunteers on his team. We are fortunate and proud to have such a dedicated person working for both the housing re and redevelopment in the police departments. Therefore, Ray Benjamin is named a volunteer of the fourth quarter, 2009. Thank you, Ray. Due to budgetary cuts, we will not be awarding the volunteer of the year, 2009. I'm sorry. No, actually, I'm just kidding. Um, Suzanne, uh, please pass the envelope. The, distinct, the, 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 the Distinguished Volunteer of the Year for 2009 goes to Ray Benjamin.
That is the end of our awards presentation. We will now turn the mic over to Suzanne Johnson for our drawings and then she for to close. No, it was on there. It was it was really <laughs> here from Channel 27. We've just attended the uh, 2009 Volunteer Appreciation Lunch and we're here with Volunteer Coordinator Suzanne Johnson. Hi Dave, how you doing? Absolutely great. What's going on today? Well, we just had a marvelous appreciation where we showed our appreciation for volunteers who in 2009 served 20,608 hours over the that year. That's a 12% increase over the year before. Uh, we have awesome, awesome volunteers. We have about 75 volunteers who serve the police department. And this year we also helped Public Works. We helped our housing and redevelopment with code enforcement. So we've got volunteers out there just working real hard and helping the community. So what do volunteers get out of helping us? What do they get out of helping us? Well, I think um, their paycheck is the fact that they are doing something that means a lot, that gives them value, the fact that they are doing something that makes a difference. They're, they're able to help police officers and police staff 
do things that allow our officers to be out on the street doing those real critical, dangerous things and where they can just support that. So that puts a lot of value in their lives and so that's what they get out of it. That's absolutely great. So if I was at home sitting on the couch with a lot of free time, is this something I should consider? I think so. If, you're, uh, if you like to get out, serve the community, make a difference, then it would be wonderful. You can go onto the website at cityofvacaville.com, go onto the police tab, and then on there in the menu there's volunteers. Click on that, you can get all kinds of information and download an application. Next year, we hope, um, probably April, May, uh, hope to have another academy and bring more volunteers on board. This has been quite a day to see the employees of the city coming out to show their appreciation for the people that are giving their time. It's been great and you've done a great job putting this together, Suzanne. Thank you, Dave. Thanks for coming out. You're quite welcome. See you next year. Alrighty. Bye-bye. Dave from Channel 27. We've just enjoyed the Volunteer Appreciation Luncheon for 2009 and we're here with uh, Chief Ward to talk about that. Yeah, it was a nice event once again, 20,600 plus hours. I mean, it's amazing what the volunteers give and how they support uh, full-time staff. Uh, we really appreciate them. It's absolutely incredible. I work with some personally, and these people just put their heart and soul into this. Don't they? Yeah, they're exceptional people, and they work throughout the department. They help seniors, they help officers, they help our civilian staff, they help me, uh, just, and, they, and they help each other. And they're really great advocates, ambassadors for the police department and the city. Absolutely true. It makes it fun to come to work. Yeah, it does. It really does. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Chief. Okay, appreciate it. All right. Thanks. Uh, Dave here with Channel 27. We've got the mayor here. We've just enjoyed the Volunteer Appreciation Luncheon. What did you think about it? Well, I come back, uh, this is my eighth year of coming to this Volunteer Appreciation Luncheon. It's just an incredible amount of hours that they put in every year. Very productive hours, over 20,000 this year. And uh, these people really enjoy what they're doing. They're, this is what makes Vacaville such a great city. The volunteerism that exists, the people who really care about what's happening in the city. And I can't thank them enough. I mean, just amazing. As they were coming through and I was talking to them, just saying thanks. They even want to do more next year. They said, we'd like to do more. Right. So, uh, you know, it's just, a, it's just a wonderful program. Suzanne Johnson, who runs the program for us, does a great job, an incredible job. And uh, we're so fortunate to have our, our police department so well supported by uh, all these citizens from throughout the city. You know, they're, they're not just doing that job. They're also the eyes and ears for the city. And they, they uh, relay information. They know things. And so uh, they're, they're really on. Uh, 24 hours a day if you want to if you want to say that very true well we appreciate you uh, giving us some words and uh, helping us uh, celebrate our volunteers today thank you very much and thanks to all the volunteers in the city of Backville we appreciate everything you do thank you tell us how you really feel <laughs>